Send. 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 Done. Oh, I got it. You got the payment. All right, we did it. Come on over here. Come on, guys, we did it. We bought the shawarma with Bitcoin. <laughs> All right, that's conservative leadership candidate Pierre Polyev. He says he wants Canada to be a champion of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Shakir, let's start with you. I mean, what, what's your take on Polyev's support of, well, shawarma, but also on currencies that, that aren't managed by the Bank of Canada? So I think you can question the wisdom of that public policy. But what I think is, is, is good about Pierre is that he's very consistent in his message. And this fits with his message of freedom, right? This financial freedom aspect. If I'm going to go to a shawarma stop or a retail store and I want to use Bitcoin to pay for, for my goods, the government should get out of the way and let me do that. I think that's what he's trying to communicate. Uh, if he's elected leader of the party, elected uh, prime minister of this country, he'll make sure we have this kind of, you know, this freedom to do whatever you want to do, uh, as long as it's within the law, of course. Uh, Jason, do you think that resonates? Do you think this is a big issue for conservative voters in this leadership race? No, but it's going to resonate with a whole bunch of bros that otherwise wouldn't be involved in politics. And there's probably a whole bunch of these guys who have a bunch of money they're going to send his way in hoping that that'll help boost their Bitcoin portfolios. So, you know, those are going to be two big motivations for why uh, Paul Yev is doing this right now. Uh, Francois, uh, how, what do you think the play is here for Polyev? Is this just the freedom agenda uh, be, being pushed into the world of cryptocurrencies? It's it goes to. I was not surprised when I uh, I heard this. Although I thought he would keep those type of comments in check because uh, a lot of people will will ev reevaluate his seriousness. I mean, I, I'm all about freedom, but at the same time, I still remember. I think it's Warren Buffett who called uh, crypto the rat poison for for investors. So if your freedom goes so far, as saying hey, you're free to 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 eat the uh, rat poison, go ahead. Um, it, it will resonate with with. Uh, uh, a younger crowd, maybe, but uh, the serious crowd about business and finance will have will raise eyebrows on that one. Yeah, uh, and David, I just want to clarify for the audience: when Francoise talks about rat poison, she's talking about what Warren Buffett said about the currency. We're not in any way commenting on the shawarma, which looks <laughs> delicious. No, no, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I just, no, no. I'm joking. My mouth. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, uh, David, what's your take on this move by uh, Polyev? <laughs> <laughs> well, Flyev is continuing on his theme of fundamental distrust in the government, distrust in the institutions, and he's trying to draw into the party unlikely voters. It's right out of the Trump playbook. And continuing in his restaurant tours, remember, he, he when he came to Montreal, he went to a Greek place that was a hangout and headquarters for anti-vaxxers. So he's right on theme here. Yeah, it's interesting, Shakira, we got a little bit of extra time, so a quick extra 20, 30 seconds here. He has not hesitated to attack the Bank of Canada during question period, and he's not shying away from it here either. I mean, that's central to this whole thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, you hit a bang on a question period. He's, he's attacked central bankers quite aggressively. But Dave is right. I mean, he's really just attacking Canadian institutions. I think that's his play, and the play is to not, not get at those average voters, but to get those people who usually don't come out and, and vote, right? Draw those folks who are not really part of the electorate. And we'll see if that works out uh, as a long-term strategy. Yeah, and, and the big challenge it also creates is that a lot of us in uh, the mainstream media are going to have to do a lot of research on cryptocurrencies to figure exactly oh how Bitcoin works uh, for everything from shawarma uh, to coffee. All right, that's it for the Power Panel Express.